Once upon a time, high in the Misty Mountains, there was a secluded monastery known for its wise monks who had mastered their thoughts. Among them was a young monk named Koji, who had difficulty controlling his thought. Despite his good intentions, his mind wandered frequently, causing him distress and preventing him from fully immersing himself in the present moment. Koji sought advice from his elder, Master Juro. In response, Master Jiro beckoned Koji to join him on a walk through the bamboo grove that surrounded the monastery as they strolled along the winding path. The crisp air and the sound of rustling leaves soothed their soul. As they walked, Master Jiro asked Koji a simple question. Tell me, my young disciple, what is the purpose of our journey here? Why do we strive to control our thinking? Koji pondered over the question, his mind racing to come up with the perfect answer. He began to weave an intricate web of explanations, citing various philosophical concepts and quoting ancient texts. Master Jiro smiled gently and interrupted Koji's flurry of thoughts. You see, dear Koji, this is precisely the struggle you face. You seek to control your thinking by engaging in more thinking. True control, however, comes from letting go and surrendering to the present moment. With newfound curiosity, Koji listened intently as Master Jiro continued his teachings through a story. There was once a young child who loved to imagine and daydream. Every day he would sit by the riverbank, letting his thoughts carry him away to distant lands and exciting adventures. His mind was a colorful kaleidoscope, but it left him feeling scattered and disconnected from the world around him. One day, an old sage passing by the river noticed the child lost in his thoughts. The sage gently approached and asked, Why do you let your mind wander, my child? Your thoughts are like wild horses, untamed and running amok within you. The child, intrigued by the sage's words, replied, But how can I control my thoughts? They rush through me like a raging river. The sage smiled warmly and handed the child a small wooden box. In this box, he said, lies the secret to controlling your thoughts. Use it wisely. The child eagerly opened the box, expecting to find a profound revelation. Inside, he found a tiny mirror. Confused, he turned to the sage and asked, What does a mirror have to do with controlling my thought? The sage gently explained, The mirror symbolizes self-reflection. When your thoughts overflow like a river, turn your attention inward and observe them. By becoming aware of your thoughts without judgment, you gain mastery over them. Just as the mirror reflects your external appearance, mindfulness is the mirror that reflects your internal world. As Koji listened to the story, he realized the profound message within it. He understood that controlling his thinking was not about suppressing or forcefully manipulating his thoughts, but rather about cultivating mindfulness and gentle observation. He learned that by bringing his attention back to the present moment, he could detach from the incessant stream of thoughts Eager to deepen his understanding, Koji returned to the monastery and immersed himself in practice. With time, he began observing his thoughts without getting entangled in them. He discovered that by acknowledging his thoughts, he could skillfully choose which ones to nurture and which ones to let go. Koji learned the beauty of embracing silence and creating space between thoughts, allowing clarity and tranquility to permeate his being. Through consistent practice, he gained mastery over his mind and experienced a profound sense of inner peace. Inspired by his own transformation, Koji dedicated his life to guiding others on the path of mindful thinking. He realized that by controlling their thoughts, individuals could cultivate greater awareness, wisdom, and compassion. And so, the teachings of Master Jiro, the story of the child and the sage, and Koji's own journey became an enduring inspiration to countless seekers who wish to master the art of controlling their thinking. Remember, dear friend, in the vast landscape of your mind, you possess the power to cultivate mindfulness and gently guide your thoughts. By observing them without attachment, you navigate the labyrinth of your own thoughts and discover the boundless potential that lies within. May you find serenity and clarity as you embark on your own journey of thoughtful self-discovery.